So, now that we've got that OD cleaned up and looking good, uh, this is problem number two. The jaws we've got cleaned up and I didn't do anything to them other than degrease them and, um, you know, make sure there wasn't any burrs or anything on them, just stoned them a little bit. And when I picked this chuck up, they were, the, the jaws weren't in it and I'm beginning to figure out why. So this is jaw, jaw two, and that's slot number two. The chuck is numbered, 7638. I got the same number on the jaws. And this groove here, I've already stoned it. And uh, so that one goes about halfway. These guys over here, jaw one and jaw three, I mean, don't even want to start. So, what I've done is uh, just use parallel. I made it a snug fit, just wanted to see what that really is. Seems to be a bit of a taper in that thing. And that's pretty loose out there, and then it tightens up. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, I don't think so. So that's running eight ten. And the jaws are running or this one is running thirteen. So that's three thou interference. This one's running Twelve. That one's running about eleven, so that seems to be the smallest jaw. Even that's tight. So Doesn't appear to be anything on the jaw. I'm going to stone these grooves just one more time just to make sure I haven't got anything sticking out on them and see what we get. Well, <coughs> after uh, considerable effort, I was actually able to get uh, the one jaw here. Just a little bit of a drag on it in one spot. I'm gonna keep working at that, but these here, jaw two and three or one and two, I mean they won't even go halfway they won't even go halfway in. There's nothing on the actual jaw. It's pretty smooth. There's some taper in here. And then if you just try and fit like the jaw, the jaw itself won't fit in the groove. Like it won't drop in there. It won't drop in there. Just so it's it's tapered. It's tight from that point in. Both of those are the same. So what I did was I set it up in the grinder. And I ground this face here, this face here, touched up the bottom, and now if you look at uh, that jaw will fit all the way through there. So we're going to do the other two. It's a little sketchy. I got it on the grinder. And if you can just imagine the wheel is in the middle here and I'm just touching this this edge here, moving the grinder over, just touching that edge, trying not to uh, 
uh, do anything but clean it up and straighten it up. There seems to be a measured, there seems to be about one or two thou roughly taper in these things, so I'm not sure what's going on. The outside edges accepting the jaw, but down in here in the middle, it won't. That's jaw three now. Two more to go. Not sure if you would call it an orthodox setup or not, but this is uh, this is what I've done. And um, so what I'm doing is I've got the the wheel dished out. I've got the bottom dressed, or this the bot the outside diameter of the wheel is dressed. The bottom part of the uh, side on both sides and then is dressed and then the inside is or above that is dished out and what I'm doing is I'm just using the uh, just using the wheel just to kind of rough set it um, just to rough set the orientation and then I'm uh, using an indicator just to make sure it's running straight with the table. So this is the setup I'm using just a, in a rapid 1 thou indicator on the end of the contraption here to get it uh, in there. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm just traversing the table and uh, trying to line up that slot for the jaw. I have the magnet on, but it's not the greatest grab, so it actually allows me to rotate the part. Right now there's about 8 thou there. Well, that's a little closer already. about the best spot I could get for uh, being able to actually see the indicator. So right now there's uh, about one and a half foul across there. Inside of a thou and getting getting tighter towards the center, which is what I'm seeing when I'm trying to put the jaw in. So I'm going to call that good day.
I'm hoping the video is clear. You can see that on this side here, only about half of that was cleaned up just to get rid of that taper what was in there. Can't see that on there, but and down at the bottom for the depth on this because I did uh, I took five thou off of this one here I wanted to do the same in all three of them so I come down plunge down take that five thou off so that jaw's looking good now probably not your most uh, ideal use of a lathe and a brake home but the situation with the bevel gears here is that they I don't know whether it was from the hammering on the outside of the uh, the uh, outside of the chuck or why but these guys are tight in there what I'm doing I'm just running some emery in the hole here bringing the brake hole in just put a little bit of pressure on it Got a good cross hatch in there for oil retention too. And now it's in there backwards, but nice fit. Two more to go. The finish in there is uh, quite nice. Well, I've got the. Uh, the bevel gear is working now. Yeah. There we go. So those are working now. And everything's cleaned out, blew it all out. I'm going to put a little oil down in here. I think this surface gets oil. And I'm going to put a little bit of grease, I think, on the gear. I'm just going to blow this off real quick. Just because I've been stoning things and want to make sure there's no grit. I think this should just drop in there. That feels good. Thank you. 
looking good so far. just going to leave it oiled. I'm not going to put any grease in there. I know that grease isn't good in the front side where you can get chips and stuff stuck in it. So, And on the front side of this chuck there's actually a, a, a jip for oil. So I'm going to have to do a little research just to make sure whether I should be greasing this or not. But for now I just want to get it together and make sure everything's going to work. So I gotta put the screws in, lock those in, and then we're getting close. So at this point I just want to make sure that the timing on the jaws is correct. So that's jaw number one just went in. And now number two can go in. What you do is you look for the scroll. As the scroll comes around and picks up that first thread. And now number three is ready. And now the moment of truth. Sounds a little rough. Might just be that. I've got it sitting up on a block here, and the double gears are exposed in the back. Let me try to fix that. I don't like that right now. There we go. That shouldn't make noise now. Well, that just tells us those gears are noisy. Looks good so far. Success. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some grease on those, on that gear in the back. I mean, it's not like they're rotating under load or anything like that. They were pretty. Pretty rough looking. And then the, there's a cap that goes in here, kind of holds this in position. Maybe I'll put that on first and see how noisy they are with that in there. <laughs> 